Hi, I'm Geodav. This video, I'm going to correct myself in changing a little bit of my attitude, maybe, towards Splendor. Saying that I, in my first video, I said there was problems with setting up the grid and all the rest. Now, I've been yesterday received a message to check a video out by a guy called uh, Wojciech probably mispronounced that but thank you very much in correcting me of my errors and giving the guy the credit for this video is basically to show me how to set Blender up a bit better for using with UDK so I'm going to sit here and explain it to, to you I don't think the guy is actually a native English speaker because he had no audio in his video so I'm gonna do it for him and power to him okay so what we're going to do well the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of this box hit delete no come on here we go hit delete yep and get rid of the lamp yep because that's just going to get in the way right the next thing we're going to do is open the scenes properties by pressing N which is N for November okay now I make a point of that because some people might not quite understand what when I say N so what do we got to do here well the first thing we've got to do is go onto the display tab open that up now here you can see that the scale is set to 1 and the division subdivisions 10 now this is the first thing that we have to change okay so click on that and we'll set that to 32 and we'll set the subdivisions to 8 now I realize some people might not like to change the subdivisions but it might help if you're using the snap tool later okay so because power of 2 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 as we go on now next thing we have to do is right click and select the camera so now that we get the camera's properties now the first thing I do here is change the location so we're going to go 256 enter the Y at minus 256 enter and the Z at 256 enter now I'm going to lock that so I can't mess around with the location of the camera just to be on the safe side you'll find me doing this quite a lot over the the time of the blender tutorials for the simple reason I'm not that good with my uh, navigation within the scene so to stop things moving we we'll just lock it which is quite handy I quite, I quite like that that's very nice I must admit now the next thing we have to do is if I zoom out, scroll out on my mouse button, you can hardly see the camera at all. So what we're going to do is scale it up to 32. Come on. 32. And 32. Now we can see the camera. Just That just helps us later. Now the other thing we have to do with the camera is to set the clip now I take it this is a sort of like the area the the camera is going to be looking at now if it's only at 1000 you're going to get a very very narrow view so we're going to start the clip at 1 and end it at 10,000 okay so yep now one of the things I've found oh no I've done it again now I've got a nasty habit of left clicking now blender users will laugh their faces off because of this and because that's the 3d manipulator or cursor location now if you do that just a quickie go over onto the properties where it says 3d cursor location right click and reset all the all reset all to default values and that puts it back at zero 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 very handy like that once you get your head round it <laughs> it's got, I'll be cursing it over the next few videos I'm sure but 
once you've got this set up as it is what I would advise to do is something that I've already done before but I'll show you go on to save save your file let's see where are we we're at E in Blender basics and save it as a setup file okay I've already done this but I'm just going to save on it again that way if you wish you've always got a starting base which is our starting file set up to play with now if you're going to be using blender purely for UDK so you want it to start up on this setup every time you can go into file save user settings and it will save it and every time you start up you will get this setup now if for whatever reason you need to get rid of this and want it to go back to default mm, not too sure but I suppose let's see user preferences oh whoa I'll need to look at that as uh, some other time okay <laughs> alright but a quick and easy well not so much quick and easy but a nasty way of doing it is you get take your Windows Explorer you go into your username go into app data now if you can't see these files you'll have to unhide them okay and then you go into roaming blender foundation blender I'm on 2.59 config and delete these files okay and the next time you start blender up it will rec recreate these files on the default setup okay so as a just one last little thing if we go into add add mesh cube we get the little 2 times 2 times 2 which is not really what we were wanting so we'll just delete that out but if you use the hotkeys to get into the add mesh which is shift A for Apple that's gone away I'll do it again shift A mesh cube we now get a very nice 64 by 64 by 64 cube to start playing with okay so that's all I'm going to do for this video we've got everything set up and in the next video I'm going to carry on doing a few little extra bits and pieces for blender okay so I'll see you soon